Are you thinking about moving to the Houston area and you don't quite know where to start? In this video, I'm gonna give you basically the things you need to know before relocating to or moving to the Houston area. Hi, my name is Aaron. And a few years ago, I actually moved here with my family. Um, so I know a little bit about what it's like to transition to from someone that is not from the area. I was born and raised in Baton Rouge and it was a little bit of a culture shock moving here. But let me jump back into it. Hi, my name is Aaron. I'm a realtor in the greater Houston area. And every week I'm helping new buyers relocate to and relocate within the city of Houston and the surrounding suburbs. If you have any questions about where to eat, sleep, play, any of those things, I'm your guy. Number is going to be in the description. Hit that like button. Also, give me a follow. You know, every week I'm dropping new videos, giving my pros and cons, my tips, suggestions about different neighborhoods and things going around, things going on in the Houston area. And I think if you if you find any value in anything in this video, you're going to love the content coming on this page. So feel free to hit that subscribe button. So jumping right back into it, the things that you need to know about the Houston area is that the, probably the biggest thing is it's a huge city and it's a huge commuter city. So Kind of what I thought would be, um, and I don't even know why I had this because I, after college, I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I graduated from LSU. I went to San Antonio for work afterwards. And I was there for a few years and I don't know for whatever reason it was, I was in San Antonio, which was a step up from Baton Rouge as far as being a big city, but it wasn't like a mega city, right? At that point in time when I moved there. But for some reason, I just thought that Houston was going to be more of like this L.A. vibe and it was going to be this huge kind of mega city where you could kind of be on trains and all this. God, I don't even know why I thought that. That sounds silly because I had been here before, but it's really not like that. Right. And now that I have clients and now that I'm in the real estate space, I have clients that, you know, come from big cities or they're coming from L.A. or they're coming from a New York or they're coming from a Chicago and they have this idea that, you know, they're coming to a top five largest city and they want to assume that they can move here without a car. And that's literally impossible. If you have anything, if you're not a work from home entrepreneur, someone that doesn't have to be somewhere specific, you're going to need a car. There's no way that you can live in Katy and work downtown without a car or using cars to get there. We just don't have the infrastructure to really do that. There's some parking rides and some things of that nature, but it's not along the lines of the public transport where you don't need to shell out the money to have a car to really get around. The next thing that I would say is that this is such a culturally diverse place. I think the last time I looked this up, it was like almost... 150 different languages um, and dialects just here in the city of Houston. So you'll you'll see that just kind of as you're just riding around. There's different parts of towns, different parts of uh, different parts of towns that have different cultures. They're just super diverse, especially as you're getting into the center of Houston. You just see so many different flavors and colors and 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 groups of people that don't necessarily look like you, and that's what makes. Houston great right you know as you kind of get out to the suburbs it can get a little bit you know a little bit more similar as you get to certain pockets different neighborhoods and not to get too too into it but as you're in the city of Houston you'll see so many different shades of the rainbow that just make you feel comfortable with you know whatever your thing is whether you want to be around a certain type of people or you want to be around a certain type of hobby enthusiast there's just so much going on and you can just see that in the, the sheer amount of people and cultures that live here. The next thing that you need to know from from someone that isn't here. And I came from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Like I said, I went to LSU. LSU was like our only sports thing. Right. So if LSU football, baseball, basketball wasn't doing anything, we didn't have pro sports in Baton Rouge. Coming here, it's a shock to have like all the pro teams here. Right. So you got the Houston you got the Astros, you got the Rockets, you got the Texans, and you got the Dynamo all within like a, a two or three mile radius of each other. So like at any given point in time throughout the year, you just have sporting events that you can go to. And, and luckily for us, we've had just such amazing like teams over the last, you know, like five to 10 years or so 
that you just kind of always have something to root for. But even when our teams weren't the best out here, right, you can just still see that that hometown pride, that hometown pride, and just supporting your Strolls, supporting your Rockets, supporting your uh, Texans and your Dynamo, no matter what they're they're doing, right? So. Sports is a huge thing here, and that's before you even get to the college rank. If you want to get to the college rank, you got the the Rices, you got the University of Houston and, and all those other schools out here, right? So it is a really big sports town. And don't even get me started on some of these big high schools out here. Some of these high school teams look like pro teams out there compared to where I'm from in Baton Rouge. So I would definitely say that sports is a huge, huge thing. The next thing that you need to know as someone that's relocating to the city is that this is the the largest like medical city in the United States. And I believe even the world, there's like several hundred thousand medical staff that are permanently here in the Houston area. So the opportunity to just be in that field, especially if you're in that field, to grow and to progress throughout the different systems, whether it's county or private, whether you're in your Methodist or you're in your. Uh, memorial any of those like public systems or private systems for the medical center you are you are literally in great hands right a lot of people come here for specifically for like cancer and very serious and specific specialized services and surgeries a lot of people come here because it's such a booming medical city and like i said it's, it's one of the biggest ones in the world if not the biggest one in the world so definitely something to think about if you're relocating or if you're in the medical field and you're thinking about making a move, this is the place that you want to be. The next thing is that not just in medical, there's like 20 or so Fortune 500 companies out here. And that's from oil and gas, energy technology. There's just so much opportunity for business and growth and entrepreneurship and, and things of that nature just out here. Like the, if, if you got so many Fortune 500 companies that are willing to put their business and pay taxes here, right? It has to be a reason why they're willing to do that. And that's just because the opportunity and the diversity and the cultures here are just so, so great compared to anywhere uh, else in the world compared to what you'll pay for housing and what you'll pay for taxes because there's no income tax here. There's just such a great opportunity to be here in the Houston area. Next thing that you absolutely have to know moving here is that property taxes and HOAs can be like insane out here, right? And so I've, I've done some searching for some some people in other places. So compared to like a California, for example, for a $300,000 or $400,000 house, you might pay taxes, depending on your area, of course, but like around one to 2%, give or take. So a $400,000 house, you may get like a four thousand dollar tax bill at the end of the year which is which is not uncommon for like a california out here we got some tax rates that are you know up to three percent three point five percent so for a four hundred thousand dollar household you're gonna pay a thousand dollars a month just for taxes in certain areas and that that can make or break even though the price points, you know, compared to like some of the million dollar properties out in a California or a New York or something like that may be different. The tax rates can be killers out here. And then on the other side of that, HOAs, if you have someone that has a gym and a, and a, a lake and, a, and a pools and all that stuff, it is not uncommon to find somewhere where you are going to pay, you know, three, four five hundred dollars a month. It's just not uncommon. Um, and that's in the burbs. If you get somewhere and you have any kind of amenities in the city and a condo, it's not uncommon to pay upwards of a thousand dollars a month. So that's kind of something that people have to think about as they're transitioning to the city if they're going to plan on uh, buying a house and there there's an HOA involved. You kind of want to know what all that stuff is before you do anything. Uh, the next thing and probably one of the, the biggest things that you want to know is in the last 10 years that uh, Houston has had three 500 year flood events. Um, so it was Harvey, Memorial Day and the tax day floods and, and all of those locations and all of those events. They were <laughs> crazy for the city of Houston. You know, there was tragedy. There was property loss. There was life loss 
Um, and it's weird to me because I'm from Baton Rouge, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And I literally lived through, played in, had parties in, hurricanes and all that stuff. But I have literally never witnessed, never witnessed anything like Houston. And, and and flooding flooding is a very real thing even if you're not in a flood zone I almost encourage all of my clients to get flood insurance regardless I'm not in a flood zone and I have flood insurance regardless of where you live because it's not uncommon for a heavy rain to basically take you out of commission like your major highways 288 in some places can be completely flooded to where you can't even get around in the city um, you know, certain areas, certain neighborhoods are worse than others. Complete neighborhoods will be blocked off. You can't get in or out. It's, it's just something that you got to be prepared for. In addition to the, the other stuff, it's just one of those things that people coming from other places that maybe have to deal with other natural disasters that may be better or worse here. Rain is probably one of our biggest killers, right? Um, and, and, you can be in your neighborhood everything is good and if you see a flash flood warning make sure you're safe because those are some of the realest alerts that you could get in the city of houston so hopefully this video was awesome to you if it was give me a thumbs up also feel free to hit that subscribe button i'm making videos every week about everything that's going on in the city of houston and the surrounding suburbs my name is aaron all of my information is going to be on in the description below if you need any assistance with moving moving to, moving around, or moving through the city of Houston, I'm your guy. If you need to know anything about where to eat, sleep, play, hit me up. I'm here to help at any time that you need me, morning, noon, night, weekends. I work all the time and I'm ready to work for you. I look forward to hearing from you. See you at the next video.